Uh, hi guys, it's uh, Monster Cameron from Think Teletronic Vid, and um, today I have a review for you guys. It's Bad Piggies by Rovio. So we all know Rovio. Uh, Rovio is the company that uh, made Angry Birds, a very popular um, arcade game, arcade-ish game. Um, it was very popular indeed. Um, Rovio, er, years before, they were actually publishing many games before they hit it off with Angry Birds. So, um, Rovio is a successor. It tr keep trying until you find your niche, and uh, indeed they have. So, without further ado, Bad Piggies. So, um, let me jump in uh, directly and just start talking about the the, the graphics. The graphics are simplistic. Um, it is a 2D sprite-based physics uh, simulation sandbox uh, puzzle game. Uh, yeah, I, I know many words. Uh, but the graphics are simple. It's the artwork. The artwork that's uh, very good. And the artwork itself is also very simple. And very clean. Maybe clean is a better uh, adjective in this case. Because everything is well drawn out, well defined. The levels, the the, 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 the characters, the, the, the parts. They're all, they have their all, they, they own unique style. Which is what makes them... Um, a very attractive uh, to look at um, so the, the and the level design as well uh, right now there's about uh, 60 levels more or less about 70 levels um, they're very similar to be honest um, uh, they're pretty much uh, uh, cross sections of uh, 3d worlds and you could uh, they have various uh, hills and depressions and valleys and peaks and what have you so very simplistic level design and it's uh, it's repeating, but um, that's more of a theme than uh, than an uh, than an issue really. They, they all have a very similar theme in the, the the levels. Some levels are more about long longitude. Some levels are more about latitude. So some will have you uh, racing your cart um, uh, with you know the aid of various parts like. Uh, uh, like um, uh, jets and coke, uh, coke bottles and stuff like that. Well, not soda bottles, soda pops, whatever. Uh, and some levels will have you using uh, balloons and propellers and fans and um, and what have you to to move vertically. And some will have you moving horizontally. And uh, to be honest, this game is very good, very addictive, very fun. Um, I spent hours playing it. Uh, very nice game. Uh, controls, however, are a little bit finicky. Um, so, let's say you decide to build uh, a machine and you want to uh, move in a certain direction. There are a couple things you could do. You could attach you know, your various um, parts to it, but the parts are, are, are a little bit uh, funny. Uh, Control-wise, you, uh, you can have a toggle, which turns the part on and off. Or you can have it on a button press, but you can't hold it, so you can't have really precise control. And also, dragging and dropping on the canvas to to build your machine is a bit finicky, because if you drag and drop uh, a part on it, uh, let's say by accident, it will replace that part and it's gonna go back in the tray. So you gotta look through the tray again, and you have to swipe left and right and keep uh, swiping through the tray. So it's a bit finicky and. Um, some of the controls could be refined. It's not as smooth as Angry Birds, to be honest. Uh, but it's totally serviceable. It does work uh, pretty well. Um, you have to really feel it to understand. Some people might not have the issue, but especially if they're on uh, smaller devices, I think that would be a big problem. I was playing it on a 7 inch tablet. On a 10 inch tablet, might have an even better uh, time with controls in comparison to a smaller size like a cell phone. Uh, and the other thing is performance. Uh, this game runs pretty much 60 frames per second throughout. There are a couple stutters here and there, especially when there are a lot of uh, parts being used. Uh, the physics probably uh, takes its toll on the processor. Uh, but it runs silky smooth, so you never have headaches with stuttering frame rates. You don't have um, you know lag spikes just ruining the experience for you. So big props to them for keeping it 60 frames per second. Uh, which is what Carmack was talking about when he was um, uh, demoing it Tech 5. So, 
I think 60 frames per second is the future because for one you don't get headaches from uh, from it um, otherwise um, very good game throughout uh, and the sandbox level the last big uh, piece of it sandbox levels are fun uh, for the regular missions you have a, sp a specific objective you gotta build one one or two designs to 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 get one of the um, to get the objectives basically because some you can replay levels and get other objectives with a different design but you only need one or two designs for that while in the sandbox you can have as many designs as you want and try to reach all the, the various objectives so the sandbox really they give you a more more parts than you usually get in a larger canvas so you can really go out there and um, and mess about with the the variations and stuff to get to the specific areas and let me tell you they're fun because that's where you're gonna spend most of your time the missions are great where you get to go in and um, and get a specific objective focused on that um, but the, the sandbox really opens your mind up you know makes you more creative it forces you to be more creative rather and I think that's that's pretty great so for a simple 2D game with simple physics, uh, simple art style, and free, it's amazing what they what they can do with a little bit of creativity. It reminds me of um, I hope I'm oh God, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Scribble knots. There we go. Scribble knots. It's it's in the same vein as Scribble knots in the sense that you can beat the level however you want to. It's just up to you to figure it out. Because you know, scribble knots, you, you, you use words to, to spawn an item to, to complete objectives. So, this is pretty much uh, the Rovio equivalent of scribble, scribble knots to a, to, to a slightly uh, larger scheme. Um, but that's my uh, review on uh, Bad Piggies by Rovio.